Bom dia, everyone. Hello. We're Becoming Portuguese. I'm Robert. She's Kim. And we're going to talk a little bit right now about what Becoming Portuguese is, what the channel is, what kind of videos we're making here, why we're doing this, why we're moving to Portugal. What happens if you subscribe? What are you going to see on this channel? What will you get if you subscribe? You will know this now. What will this channel be? Uh, it's going to be all about life in Portugal and how we're, you know, striving to become Portuguese. So we're going to be really talking about culture and things that we learn. We're both kind of obsessive researchers. <laughs> so we're going to find out all kinds of cool things. We're going to talk to locals. We're going to get their perspectives, historians, even maybe academics, things like that, and share that with That's you a big thing. on the channel. Passing on local voice. We're going to share as many of the people that we've met their words, their voice, what they say about it as we can here on the yeah. channel. Yeah, I mean, we like to know as much as we can, but we don't want to be know-it-alls, <laughs> and so... We're far from a know-it-all. Yeah. yeah, so we definitely want to share um, who we meet as well. Um, and we're going to be learning the language. We're going to be learning the ins and outs of doing errands. We have all the practical matters of life uh, besides the culture that we'll also share on the channel. Another thing is all the practicalities of becoming Portuguese. What visa we talked about where to go, where to rent, where to buy, all kinds of practical. How to open a bank account. Yeah, how uh, do you open a bank account? Ooh, it, was, it was a lot of steps. We are just about to make our way to Portugal. We're in the middle of selling all of our stuff. Uh, well, almost all of our stuff. We're gonna keep Robert's record collection, a lot of our books and souvenirs from trips around the world and artwork and things. And we're gonna take you along with us. Part of becoming Portuguese is trying to understand what Portugal is. And so that's what a lot of these videos will be about. You know, it's just trying to explain our, you know, experience as we learn more about this new home that we have in Portugal. And a lot of our American friends here in, in the U.S. have been asking, you know, why are you going to Portugal? Hey, I have some other friends moving to Portugal. It's kind of a thing. Uh, why did we pick it? Um, it wasn't because of a hashtag or anything like that. Um, I've been visiting for about 20 years and you know, on a whim while visiting Spain, drove over into Portugal and I absolutely was stunned. And I've spent, you know, little swaths of time and, you know, we went on a road trip last year. I haven't been as long to Portugal. I didn't know much about it. I know about Spain, I knew about England, I knew about Germany, I knew Italy and France. And Portugal was a little bit of a mystery to me. So the first time I went was last year, actually. Yeah. So this is kind of new for me. And but you know, you've worked as a travel writer before mm -hmm. and, you know, for National Geographic, you used mm -hmm. to be the spokesperson for Lonely Planet, all kinds of things. And he said to me, this is like one of the best trips I've ever been on. Every day there was a new surprise when we're on the house hunting trip. We like every day it exceeded expectations. If it was a castle, a Knights Templar, if it was a cafe, if it was a beach, if it was um, street art in Covilha, whatever it was, it always went a little beyond what I had hoped it to be. And, and that's what I loved about being there. Yeah, so reason number one is because we, we love it. We think it's amazing. Um, and when you realize, you know, you get in the mindset of, oh, we could live anywhere in the world and you get to pick a place. Uh, you know, I grew up moving around all over the place, many, many different cities and states uh, in the United States. And I've lived in Norway, we've lived in Vietnam, he's lived in London, Australia. But to, to really choose a place and make that your home is something really interesting and special. Reason number two is the people. I think the people themselves, are, you know, Portuguese people are so friendly. Um, they have a great sense of humor um, and just seem to have a really good vibe. They're pretty laid back. I mean, when yeah. we went to the Fadu is the folk music there and we found a Fadu bar, it's very famous in Lisbon, we found one in, in the mountains in Kobulia. And as soon as we stepped in, it was like we had been going there for years. We were almost kind of adopted there. And I was just blown away by the whole experience. And that was, that was a daily thing in Portugal. Yeah, we also love the food and wine, think it's fantastic, um, which tends to be, even though it's maybe more rich than a lot of American foods, has a lot less preservatives, is a lot more fresh. I feel like it's a bit healthier eating lifestyle there. Um, my 23 year old son with autism is a big foodie. He loves food and he's super excited to try everything. So we're probably gonna be doing like a Portuguese recipe a week yeah, that's uh, good. In, the, in the kitchen with PJ, Chef PJ. Can't wait to see what Chef PJ comes up with, all the Portuguese <laughs> ingredients, it's gonna be great. 
Uh, leave us comments. We love recommendations. Or a recipe for Chef PJ. Ooh, recipes for Chef PJ. We Any... want to hear that. Yeah, I know there's so many different regional specialties around Portugal. Um, like I said, we'll be living in the central north and mm. the border of Spain, so I'm sure that's very different than mm. recipes from the far north or the Algarve. And So please leave us your recipes if your mom won't get too mad. <laughs> Another reason is... Portugal is one of the top five safest countries in the world. Top five always. I mean, in the U.S. 128. 128. I mean, the leading cause of death for kids in the United States is shootings. I mean, that's a real thing. Yeah, here. gun deaths are crazy. And, you know, if we get to choose anywhere we want to live in the whole wide world, why choose a place you might get mm -hmm. shot <laughs> just going to the grocery store? I had someone in Lisbon, I was getting a coffee at a cafe place, and he said, the United States, I don't understand all the guns, and I don't either. I don't live in fear of the United States, but it is a consideration looking yeah, forward. Yeah, if, if you're yeah. looking at, you know, quality of life, um, mm -hmm. safety is a big issue. And we're not like scaredy cats or anything. I've traveled all over the world <laughs> alone, and honestly... The most frightened I've ever been was sometimes living in New York City. One other thing that we haven't mentioned that this channel will be about is kind of a long-term goal is we want to find a stone house. Oh, okay. We've been so inspired by a lot of people who are moving to Portugal or locals who have bought, um, you know, ruined, abandoned properties or properties that need to be fixed up to be... Uh, you know, habitable again. And so we'll watch hours and hours of them renovating their stone house and we will be on the hunt for the perfect stone house that we can work on ourselves. We're perfectly loving and happy with uh, living in the city of Kuvaya, where we've chosen to live mm -hmm. and the beautiful apartment we're moving into. Um, but we definitely will be on the, the search for that, um, that we can, you know, work on the weekends and renovate and that we'll always have uh, that place in Portugal as well. Ho hopefully near a Praia Fluvial. River Praia Beach? Fl River Beach, yeah. yeah we hopefully love near the Praia River. Fluvials. <laughs> as you can tell, we have a lot to learn yes, about lot to uh, learn. pronunciation in yeah. Portuguese. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll watch us on that journey and watch us go from zero to hopefully passing at least to the test for citizenship. And so we wrap it up. Till next time, we're becoming Portuguese. Yikes. Is that okay? Nope, but we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and I hope you are a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe. Leave us a comment. Give us a like. If you hate it, leave us a dislike. That helps the algorithm, too. Yeah. We love to hear from everyone. New video like this every Friday. Actually, not quite as much like this. It'll be a lot more Portugal. <laughs> yes. Uh, daily life, all of the things we just yeah. talked about. Um, plus walking tours. Plus the occasional walking tour. Occasional tour. walking tours show you what it's like, point of view. All that travel writing research did well with this one. He plans out his route really well and puts little fun facts about different cities that we're visiting. I got really dorky with walking tours. I'll Very be honest. Dorky. I love it. See you next Friday. Bye. Bye.